Hello everyone, I'm Shaniqua Perry. Today I will be telling you a little bit about Ludmilla Trout, who is famous for her work with the domestication of foxes. Ludmilla Trout was born November 6, 1933, in Russia, then the Soviet Union. She just turned 87 years old. Ludmilla grew up during World War II outside of Moscow, though most of her family lived within the city. She grew up as an animal lover along with her mom. Even when food was scarce during World War II, her mother would feed strays, saying, If we don't feed them, Ludmilla, how will they survive? They need people! And she carried these words and actions with her for the rest of her life. Being a very intelligent and hard-working student, Ludmilla studied physiology and animal behavior at Moscow State University, the leading university in this area and she's her undergraduate work on the behavior of crabs. She received her doctoral degree in 1980 from the Institute of Cytology and Genetics, where she did her doctoral work on the domestication of foxes, and she became an evolutionary geneticist. The Soviet Union was run by Stalin, who created a military and industrial dictatorship. He started the crackdown on the study of genetics that was led by Lysenko. Researchers in genetics were demoted, imprisoned, or even killed. Stalin and Lysenko killed or removed thousands from their positions to eliminate opposition. Dmitry Velev's brother was among those killed for his genetics work. It was a dangerous time to study genetics. Dmitry Belev began the fox experiment in secret in 1952 under the cover of improving fox furs. He fought against the oppression of genetics and was protected by his position and importance in the fur industry. Belev and Trout met in 1958 when Trout interviewed for the job of hands-on management and testing of the foxes. Trout felt that Belev had known her all her life and sparked their close relationship throughout the experiment. Because studying genetics was illegal, Trout could be risking her career and safety taking this position. She had just married and had a baby girl and she did not want to move away from her family, but they supported her and it was definitely once in a lifetime opportunity. Ludmilla took the job starting in 1959, doing all the hands-on management and testing of the silver foxes. The experiment moved from a fox farm in Kohila to a fox farm called Lesnoy, where she was isolated from her family in Novosibirsk. She was lonely at Lesnoy, and during her second January of the experiment, she was sure she was going to resign the next day, but realized the next morning that she loved the work too much to leave, and from that point on, Belev made sure she was doing well personally and professionally. The experiment has moved three times, eventually getting its own special facility built in Novosibirsk. It has changed and evolved over the years, starting with 30 males and 100 females, selected for tameness and tameness only. Pups begin testing at one month, where they're offered food from the hand while trying to be stroked or handled. They're tested once in a cage and once while moving freely with other pups, and it's repeated until the pups are six to seven months old. Mature foxes were put into four categories. Class 1, the least domesticated. Class 2, those that could be pet but were not friendly. And Class 1 was were friendly. Class 1E was added for those that were eager for human contact. Domesticated foxes are physically very different from wild foxes. They also showed developmental changes, responding to sound two days earlier, opening their eyes a day earlier, and showing a delayed fear response usually after nine weeks. The fox experiment is now in its 40th year, but novel traits began in the 8th and 10th generations, causing changes in coat color with the loss of pigment and the formation of star patterns, as well as floppy ears and rolled tails. After 15 to 20 generations, foxes showed shorter tails and legs, as well as the formation of under and overbites. But novel traits were still rare, only a few per hundred. 
This experiment is still ongoing, with True as the director. She took over in 1985 after Dimitri's death and is now in its 57th generation, one of the longest-running behavioral experiments in existence. The Fox experiment was unique and never done before domestication experiment, showing how the domestication of wolves likely occurred, and helping to enhance the world's understanding of hormones and its effect on development and behavior. This experiment was also important for Russian genetics, putting them back on the map. Trude's impact and legacy is still being created today, as she is still performing the Fox experiment, along with helping others with their behavioral research.